the most precious thing. Tig! Are you still sleeping? Come out here! Boom! Who's sleeping? I've been up for a while. Well, are you ready for the competition? For the competition? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm ready, uh, I think. In that case, <laughs> I'll race in there! Hey, wait! That's not fair! You have to say, on your mark, and ready! Set, go! <laughs> <laughs> Cause, uh, you've got longer legs. Oh, come on, Tig. <laughs> legs have nothing to do with it. You just have to train more often. I have been training. Uh, like last week, uh, twice. Quiet, you two. Enough, kids. You shouldn't argue unless you want the same thing to happen to you as what happened to the kingfisher and the owl. What, what happened, happened to them? them? Once upon a time, when the great cedar was just a teeny tiny little seed, there were two birds living in the forest, two good friends, the white-throated kingfisher and the owl. The two were inseparable, doing everything together and always helping each other out. But then one day, the kingfisher saw his reflection and became arrogant. He started to boast, just look at my wonderful feathers. I'm so handsome and colorful, and you are nothing but gray. That hurt the owl's feelings, so he flew away into the wild woods. What? Into the wild woods? As in... As in, the wild woods are not for play? It's better if you stay away? Exactly, that's the one. Left without his friend, the kingfisher grew sad. And so, he decided to find the owl and apologize for the things he said. The kingfisher flew to the grizzled waterfall and asked him earnestly, Please, help me. Show me how to find my friend. The waterfall agreed to help the kingfisher, but only in exchange for his bright and colorful plumage. The kingfisher broke into tears. This is the most valuable thing I have. Nevertheless, he gave away his brightly colored feathers and got his friend back. And suddenly, he realized that he got it wrong. The most valuable thing was actually... Leo! Tig! I've been looking for you! Hurry up! The competition's about to start! Everybody's waiting for you! Oh, Mappa Pandiga! How are you? The competition? Wow, that's right! Tig! We completely forgot about uh -huh. it! Let's go! <laughs> Let the competition begin right now! Yeah! Competitors will run along the forest trail around the giant hill and come back to this spot. Our racers are Tig, Cuba, Mila, and our three-time favorite winner, Leo! Yeah! Yeah! Is everyone ready? On your mark?
Did I win? That's so great. <laughs> Thanks for the crown. Here's a That's not fair. Tay, tell them. You're the best. Woohoo! <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> It's not fair! Aw, oh, don't be upset, Leo. If it weren't for your shortcut, I would have won. Or you wouldn't have won. Ah, oh, calm down. It's just a race. Not fair. You don't get it. You've won many times, and I never win. So what if I win this time? Oh, Leo, what was that? Somebody help me! I think it's coming from there. From, from the, the wild, wild woods! Help me! Somebody! Save me! Help me! Please! I'm scared! Please! You gotta help me! Hold on! Please, please. We're coming! Help! Please help me! Please! Please! I'll get him! Please! Hey! Hurry up! Break. Come on, champion! Let's go! But I'm not a champion! You're the Team. winner! Now is not the time. We need to save that poor bunny! I can't, Leo! Fine. I'll run after him, and you go get his help! Find him no matter what. Why am I wearing this thing? It's wrong. Leo was the real winner. I lied to you. Oh, wow. Look, it's just like in the story. Come on, guys, this way. Follow me. <laughs> I want my mom. Don't be scared. My friend Tig, he's going to come and bring help. We'll get out of here. Wow! Look! A rainbow! A rainbow? Unbelievable! Leo! Such a beautiful rainbow! Leo! Tig! This is so Tig, great. we're down here at the bottom! Amazing! That's Tig. He made it! That's great! Yay! Leo! I found you! I told everyone the truth, that you're the real winner. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, Tig, forget about that. It's all good. Get us out of here already. Climb up now, but be careful. Leo! Tig! High five! <laughs> So, whose wreath is it? Leo's! No, this is Tig's wreath. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tig, first one to the old cedar is the winner. <laughs> Just a second. I'm gonna... <laughs> Train harder! <laughs> All right, I'm definitely getting there first. <laughs> you better run. ahead! I'll be waiting for you.
every grass blade in Taiga is alive. That's because hidden inside it is the spirit of the Taiga. Hidden? How is that? Just like that. <laughs> the spirit of the Taiga is everywhere. In the grass and trees, on mountaintops, and even the deepest caves. The mysterious cave. Okay, here. No, they'll find me here. And here's where they found me the last time. And this was the one before that. Oh! Uh! But here. No way they'll find me here. Leo, look at this. Hmm. Tig, follow me. Oh, dear. Dear. Oh, dear. So, where's Mila? <laughs> Tig, have you seen her? Ah, oh, Mila, when will you learn to hide properly? The same place for the third time? Mila. Come on, don't be upset. I know. Let's play tag. No, no, no. One more time, please. The last one. <sighs> Mila, this was the last time. The last, last time, then. The very last time. I swear. Six, seven, oh, eight, where should I go? nine, where ten, should I go? eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, ready or not, here I come! Aha! Uh -huh. Tig, I found you! Oh, hey, that's not fair. You counted too fast. No, 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 no! Here! There! There! No, 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 no! There! What should I do? They'll find me here, too. Oh, a cave. I'm gonna hide so well, they'll never find me. Oh! What darkness. Oh, boy! Oh, oh. Isn't this a good spot to hide? She would hide. It's weird. She's not here either. Leo! Look, I found some tracks. Wow, it's Mila's tracks. Follow me! Whoa. Uh uh. I wouldn't go inside. Leo, wait! She's definitely not in there. Tig? Wait a sec. Look, it's Mila's flower. She's in there. Let's go, Tig! You sure? No way! Leo! Oh, come on! No, no! Oh, fine, you win, Leo! I'm coming! Ah! Oh, wow. Leo! Leo, you there? I'm here, Tig. You okay? Well, I didn't lose my tail. Leo, where are we? We're in a cave, and Milo is definitely here! <sighs> <laughs> oh, it's so amazing! Oh, wow! Rah. Look, Tig! Whoa. Here are her tracks! Awesome! Tig, <laughs> hurry up! Whoa! Whoa! Ah, Leo! Whoa. Wait for me! Don't leave me alone! <sighs> Mila, Mila! 
Can we shake a break? No, Tig. The tracks, they disappeared. I'm tired. Help! You hear that? Leo! Tig! That's Mila! She's over there! Oh, okay, fine. Right behind you. lost. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You can figure this out. Okay. Uh, think, think. Uh, this way. Uh, uh. Mila, don't be afraid. I can do this. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I'm not afraid. Well, at first I was a little scared. But then I asked, and he helped me. And here you guys are. Wait, who helped you, Mila? Well, I don't really know. I just thought that I was trapped, but these pretty crystals started to show me the way! Crystals? Mila, I think I got it! It's the spirit of the taiga! Remember Pantiga told us about him? He lives inside grass and trees, on mountain summits, and even in the deepest of caves and stuff! I know how to get out of here! We'll get help from the spirit of the taiga! The spirit of the taiga is the soul of nature. He's everywhere! Every grass blade and every rock is full of life. The spirit of the taiga cannot be seen, but he can be felt. He's always at your side, and he will help you, as long as you believe in him. The spirit of the taiga? Seriously? That's just a legend. Fairy tales made for children. That's it! There's no spirit. You're so gullible. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here forever. Tig, wait. Oh, spirit of the taiga. Would you please help us to find a way home? Oh. Oh. Thank you, spirit of the taiga! Now, guys, follow me! Leo, wait for us! <laughs> Leo, come on. Are you really gonna follow some bug? Like he can guide us outside. Leo. Tig, we'll end up staying here forever because of you. Why me? What did I do? Can't you ask the spirit of yours to guide us out of here a little bit faster? I'm getting hungry. Ask him yourself. Fine, I will. Nothing tricky about that. Listen, spirit, would you mind hurrying it up a little bit? <laughs> See that? See that. Wow, Tig. Okay. Great job. Couldn't you be more polite? Uh, right. Pretty, please? Oh, Leo, what are those things? Those are... Those are bats! Hey, wait! Hooray! We made it! <sighs> well, Tig, how about that? Exactly what you asked for. Really fast! Right. In the end, he's really nice, that spirit of the taiga. <laughs> and you didn't believe in him. <laughs> Not true. I believed him. I was joking. 
Let's go home. Hurry up! You're unbelievable. The spirit of the tiger is everywhere. But only those who genuinely believe in miracles are really able to see him. A gift from the spirit of the tiger. So sweet, so fresh. What a nice chubby boy. Came for lunch himself. Stop right there. <laughs> half an hour sniffing around and I'm like bam bam and found it I've got an awesome nose <laughs> well done Tig so Mama Pandigo where did the sense of smell even come from oh that's an ancient story children once upon a time animals didn't have any sense of smell at all oh <gasps> that's incredible listen to the story in those ancient times, animals were relying only on their eyes and ears. But one day, a harsh winter came to the taiga. The weather was freezing cold like never before, and a thick blanket of snow covered the earth. It became very hard for animals to find food, and they began starving. And it seemed like the winter would last forever. The spirit of the tiger felt sorry for its children, and so it gave them the sense of smell to find food even under the thickest layer of snow. <gasps> to every single one? Sure. And the keenest sense of smell was given to fierce predators, the wolves. That's why you need to be more careful. There are rumors that a red wolf came to our woods. Oh, dear me. That means no more woods for me. Mappa, let's go look for flowers. It's my turn now. <laughs> sure, Mila. Tig, where's Cuba? Cuba? Probably still looking around for his flower. <laughs> the spirit of Tyga didn't do a good job on his nose. <laughs> No, Tig. He's not in the bushes. What if he went to the woods? The red wolf is there. Nah, he must be around here. Tig, we have to find him. Cuba! Hello? Cuba! Where are you? Tig, stop screaming like that. We don't want the red wolf to hear us. Leo, how do we find him? By his tracks? Can you see them? No, Tig. We'll find Cuba by the smell, like you found flowers. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna pick up his trail at once. <laughs> Leo, listen. What does Cuba smell like? Seriously? Like acorns, of course. Here, smell this one. Well... Wait, don't distract me. I think... I think, uh... Ah, got it! Do you smell it? That's definitely Cuba's aroma. Let's find him! Apparently he went off the trail. But why would he go into the woods? Ugh. It's all because of you, Tig. If it weren't for you, Cuba wouldn't go anywhere! What did I do now? Weren't you making fun of him, Tig? Cuba! You've been searching for half an hour! 
Maybe you forgot your nose at home. <laughs> oh, I know. You exchange your nose for acorns. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, I didn't know that he'd take it so personally. Tig, it's not okay to laugh at friends. Do you like it when Martins make fun of you? <laughs> For being afraid of heights so much? Okay, okay, I get it now. Stop! Where's the smell? It disappeared. <gasps> I don't like this at all, Leo. So who is he hiding from? Leo, I sense another smell. Calm down, Tig. He's not even real. Cuba, come on. Go away, go away. Let's go. We have to save Cuba. Right, if he hasn't gotten eaten already. What a surprise. A kitten dessert. Leo, do you think this one's real? He said we're dessert. Must have eaten Cuba already. And now he's gonna eat us. A tiger cub. Mm, and a leopard cub. He found our trail. Leo, you need to think of something. Get fast! Tig, this is... This is the Bogland monster. This time we're finished. All right, kittens. I'm coming for you. I'm already here. Huh? What's going on? Where did you two go? I don't understand. I was following the trail. All right. You've outsmarted me. But next time, you won't manage to run away from me. <laughs> it worked. He left. He couldn't smell us. <laughs> Tig, thanks to the monster, the mud covered our smell. <laughs> <laughs> Cuba! Yeah! Our missing boy is back. <laughs> and we thought you were the Bobland monster, not Cuba. <laughs> Listen, Cuba, you know, I'm sorry I was making fun of you. You might not have a sharp sense of smell, 
But I would never, ever think of hiding like that. <laughs> and this is Lily of the Valley. My favorite. Here, smell it. Amazing, right? Ew! Mappa, it smells like frogs! <laughs> You're right. That smells very weird. Very weird. It's because of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a muddy monster! I'm gonna save everyone! Tig, you're nothing like a monster. You're just a dirty little tiger cub! <laughs> yeah, one who smells like a frog! <laughs> Get up, lazy bones! <laughs> Time to wake up! <laughs> What if we skip it today? I'm so sleepy. Uh, <laughs> you sleepy heads! Yo, line up! Suck in that gut! And now... <laughs> Some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice! What, target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two. This will surely be you! <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you! Now get to the hollow! Where? To the hollow! Ready? And aim! Fire! Whoa! Missed! All right, enough! Hey, what's with you? Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here! Well, it's a horrible game. Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever. <clears throat> Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey, all hands on deck. Drop anchor. Aye, aye, Captain, set sail. Captain, I spy some reefs dead ahead. When you need something done. Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. <gasps> they steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mappa's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the boarders ready? Boarders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> 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 The one who is late steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about friendship. Hmm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> That is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. <laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? <laughs> uh, uh -huh. 
Why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out? What the magic is? I know! I know! Pick me! Of course! Go on, Mila. When we are together, we are strong! That a girl, Mila. Pirates! Cannon on board! <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! A pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Yeah. Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are. <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike. Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike. Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we going to do when Spatty and Straight come back? Yar, we'll cut them to pieces. Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes. <laughs> They're all bent. <laughs> I also have an idea. A brilliant pirate idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, there will be really thick jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man-eating fish. And aggressive spiders! <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Hey, Striped! Getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you, because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship, and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, Yes, I can steer myself. Let Tig run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How can he be a captain if he doesn't even have stripes on his fur? And Mila went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! <laughs> 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 Nobody's gonna help you. Yo ho ho! No, no one will save you now. now. Oh no, so sad. <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do. So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play. By yourselves, you and Mila. No way. You can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <gasps> hmm. What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Leo, Jake, help me! <laughs> hey, you! Let Mila go right now! No way! Your crew member is now ours! And the ship as well! <laughs> Yo ho ho! <laughs> Here we come! Oh. 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 Ah! <sighs>
Yeah. Run, run! <laughs> Wicked pirates! Yeah! <laughs> Leo, I still don't believe it. How could I have been tricked by the Martins? Don't worry about it. You and I are best friends forever. Boys, what's that in Leo's paws? Huh? In my paws? <laughs> twigs! Yes, the twigs, which can only be broken one at a time, but are strong together. Well, let's set sail. The desert island is waiting for us. And side, hoist the colors. Little Blizzy. Whoa, a pine cone. What I saw at first. Mappa Pantiga put me in charge of collecting cones. No. Let go. Martens, no. target detected. The spotted one and the striped one. Get your best cones ready. And shoot! <laughs> Thank you, Spike. Now we have enough food supplies for the whole winter. Let's go to Mappa. Oh, he'll be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> what now? <laughs> he says enough food supplies for the whole winter. <laughs> Whatever. Spike. Just to be clear, when are we going to start stocking up on food? We are not! Martins never stock up on food. Martins use their brains instead. Ah. <laughs> Good job. Well done. It's great to see how many cedar nuts you brought us. In the taiga, food stock is the most crucial thing. Without it, you can't survive winter. When the blizzard comes, you will all be grateful to me. Where will it come from? Yeah. Where does the blizzard come from? Where is her home? Mappa Pandiga, tell us, please, where does the blizzard live? There's not much to tell, really. The blizzard lives in her icy castle on the top of the highest mountain where snow doesn't melt all year long. And when the winter comes, she goes down into the taiga. And then, be careful not to make her angry. If the blizzard gets angry, bad things are coming. She will freeze everyone and turn everyone into ice. No one will be spared, neither animals, nor birds, nor trees. They say once the entire taiga almost died because of its icy breath. Oh, dear me! <laughs> I think it's getting chilly. What if that's the blizzard getting angry? The... the blizzard? Angry? That's just a fairy tale, right, Mappa Pendiga? Maybe it's a fairy tale, or maybe it's not. Leo, where are we going? We have to find the blizzard and find out what made her so angry. Look, there is no blizzard. You heard, Mappa. It's just a fairy tale. Did you hear that? That's her. The blizzard. Hide now! My baby girl! Baby girl? Quickly, quickly, hide the food stock before the blizzard manages to find it. Go ahead, hide them. <laughs> They're gonna be ours anyway. We just need to come up with a plan. Come on, Spike, think. Mappa Pandiga, Mappa Pandiga. We know why the blizzard is upset and angry. It's because she lost her only daughter, Lizzie. We need to find her. Then the blizzard will stop being angry 
And the tiger won't freeze. Ah, good idea. Okay, so the blizzard lost her only daughter. <laughs> Very interesting. I think I've come up with a plan. They're gonna give us all their stock themselves. Follow me! wants to find you so badly, they will give up everything, even their food stock for the winter. I want my mommy. Spike, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> You're supposed to watch the Blizzy. Don't let her out of your sight. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. Probably just wants to play a bit. Look here. No, stop! Oh, here? give you the blizzy, and in exchange, you give us all the food you've stocked for the winter, and everyone's happy. So, how do you like my plan? How do you like my plan? Have a taste of this. Wait now, Tig. We need to get blizzy back whatever it takes, or else the taiga might come to an end. What about her stock? We'll have to find more then. Spike? We take the deal. That's good. This is my kind of conversation. I've always been saying, you just need to use your brain. Spike, the blizzy <laughs> fell into a cave. What? Say what? A little more, and the whole tiger will be frozen. We need to get Lizzie back right now. Here. This is where she fell through. We'll have to follow her down there. Down there? Into the icy labyrinth? No! The icy labyrinth? Leo, we're not going in there, right? I will go. Oh, no way, Leo. Uh, okay, I'll go too. I'm just gonna get some cones first, because there are, you know, all kinds of bats and also spiders. <laughs> Boy, do I hate all these labyrinths. Lizzie! I think we should go right. Let's go right if you say so. Lizzie! Another dead end. There's no way we'll be able to find her. And even if we do, we won't make it out of here. Get up, Tig. We have to move. Uh, where on earth did those two go? <sighs> See, Shorty? It's all because of you. Why is it always me? She started it. <laughs> And who is that? Oh, Leo, look here. It's a cedar nut. So it means we've already been here before. A cedar nut? Wow! Tig, you're a genius! Me? Well, I mean, thank you. Okay, give me the cone. It will help us not to get lost. All right. So we can use the little nuts to mark our trail. I come up with the best ideas. <laughs> Tig, this way! We found her! <laughs> mommy! Where's my mommy? Hey, don't cry. You want your mom? Let's go. We know the right way. Yeah, we 
We did a good job. Hmm. <laughs> there. Now we are definitely ready for winter. Look at that! So long. To the left. I said to the right. I told you many times, you just have to use your brain. Real catch. Woo. Oh. Hey, Cuba. Catch. Ew! Cuba, look, you're a real pig. <laughs> oh, Cuba, stop rolling around. Let's play. Cuba in love. What, you get stuck over there? <laughs> oh, look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. A <laughs> uh, love? Love, I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got pearl. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think. What present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan. Because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. It, uh... Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course, uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba? 
You're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan, but a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Cuba, hang on. Beauty always has a price. There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still a little bit plain. You know? Don't you worry, buddy. Cause we're gonna dress you up. <laughs> better now. As good as a swan. <laughs> Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic even. A feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? <laughs> how about crossing the rapids? Or would you <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. told you this wasn't going to work. Cuba, 
Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so... <laughs> Get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. A wise man once said, Be yourself, and you'll find someone's heart will open to you. <laughs> what is this? All oh, the leaves have turned brown. It sort of looks like a drought. Do you think we should land? Whoever lives here probably needs some hey, help. Hey, you guys! Take a look at this! Down there! <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Oh, no! I can't see what I'm doing! The stone flower. Oh, the moors. I think that's what this was. It's all smashed. It's all ruined. We can't fly with this big hole. We need to fix it. Okay, guys, let's split up. Mila, Yara, and Lily, go find some food and water. Tig and I will work on fixing the ship. <gasps> Leo, Leo, take a look. <gasps> oh. I am Taraval, the 82nd. Uh... <laughs> how's it going? Uh, how's it going? I hereby accuse you. Hmm, okay. I hereby accuse you. Of a most terrible crime. <gasps> I know the rest. <laughs> of a most terrible crime. Blue more. Take them into custody! But there are so many. In Kubor, Kubor's just one. Would you be so kind as to tell us what the crime is that we committed? Uh, uh, well, uh... uh. I can do it, Dayan. A long time ago, there came an era of a most terrible drought when not a single green leaf was left in the whole of the sacred eucalyptus grove. The entire koala tribe nearly starved, but one very brave koala decided to save them and go in search of water. The road was long and most difficult, and just when she thought that all was lost, a bright spark of light appeared and she saw the scattering of stone flowers. When she broke it off, it began to rain. It watered the desert, and the desert began to bloom once again. Ever since then, the stone flower has been passed down from leader to leader. That's right. Or at least it was, until you decided to destroy my ancestral heritage. And that's exactly why we must punish you, strangers. By the way, Dayan, how exactly should we punish them? Uh, uh. Hold on a sec. 
I want to go to the scattering of stone flowers. And if they are growing there, I will pick one for you. Then you won't have to punish anyone anymore. Leo, it's too dangerous. You don't even know the way. You'll get lost. No, I won't. Taraval can go with me. Or he can just give me a map. But ugh, I don't know the way. The legend never mentioned that part. And maps? Well, well, we don't have any maps. Uh, most wise one. Uh, there actually is. A map? But what map? Where is it? Right here. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Well, well. So I guess we'll just follow the spots and stripes, and when they find the stone flower, we'll steal it from them. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. We're going to steal it. I said shh. Oh, got it. <laughs> Whoa! We haven't seen this before. Uh, in order not to endanger the precious life of Taraval the 82nd, I suggest that you go around. But that's too far. I've got an idea. Leo, maybe we should go around. Okay. Then like this. Tuba, just calm down. Try to stay still. Okay, I get it. I'm bored as well. I have an idea. Let's look for water on our own. Uh, but Kubor uh, was ordered to guard, uh, not to look. But you can still guard us on the way. Don't worry, we won't run off. Yeah, we won't escape. Don't you think Teravo will be happy with you if we find water? Happy with Kubor? Uh, yes, Kubor really wants that. It looks... it looks like a... Yes, 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 little one. That is the stone flower. But that's nothing. My uncle Pernululu the 68th, ruler of the great eucalyptus grove on the ocean, taught me a little nifty trick to handle even the very biggest wave. in the winter. Kubor is smart. Kubor will find the water and bring back another eucalyptus. Where did you get the strength to be so ridiculous? Personally, I'm so thirsty. All I can think about is water. I'm just a koala, and koalas never drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. <gasps> Be quiet. Do you hear that? What can that strange noise be? Good job, Kuba. If the stones are wet, that means that water is nearby. It's a really big cave, and it's full of water. But the water looks very deep. Oh, but wait, I thought of something. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. It's the stone flower. But how do we get to it? Hey, you guys, I've got an idea. I need your help. Bring me a piece of that magical rock. In my country, in the jungle, there is an abandoned village. I saw something just like this there. That stone flower! Bye, what's up? <laughs> no! Your flower, and now it's ours! <laughs> <laughs> you bring that back to us right now! Oh no, now 
how our grove will most definitely dry out. Such a shame. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy of my ancestors. <laughs> Water? Where's that coming from? Oh, what is this miracle? How did you manage to do this? This is your stone flower. <laughs> and a little hard work. Good work, girls. <laughs> but how did the map stated, without the stone, the water will not flow? Tig, you mixed it up. The map said the water doesn't flow under the stone. But koalas barely drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. Ah, and don't forget Kubor. He was a very big help. <laughs> Kubor? <laughs> oh my goodness. As a reward, I will give you your own <gasps> eucalyptus. Yes. Hey, hey, make some wet rain. Ho, ho, give me water, stone, stone. Stone, stone. <laughs> Something isn't working. Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing the dance the right way. I've had enough of this dance already. <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, hmm. I have no choice but to thank you. Dayan, behold our grove's eucalyptus gum. It is the stickiest in the whole wide world. Here we go, everyone. Full steam ahead. <laughs> Cry, Melky. The spots and stripes flew somewhere over this way. That means the treasure's gotta be nearby. But we're already out of food. Uh, this is the last berry we have. That's the last one. Give it to me. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! What's no. going on? <laughs> Beautiful land. I told you, didn't I? Come on, my feathered friend. There's plenty to eat just up ahead. <laughs> 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 Oh, mice! Happy haunting! <laughs> <laughs> land! Land! Beautiful land! Oh, 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 how I missed you, land! Hold on! Spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Ah! Oh, oh, ah! Uh, 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 Who are you? You fell right out of the sky. What are you running from? But, 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 but running? We're not running! Nope! Not running. You just said spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Who are they? And why are you afraid of them? Wait, uh, afraid? Us? Oh, oh, why, yes, of course we're afraid. Spots and stripes are, uh, they're, uh, uh they're horrible monsters. Worse than you. Hmm? Uh, I mean, you're better. Uh, they kidnapped our entire family. Uh, everyone, uh, now they're hunting me. And my brother. Right, little bro? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> poor little us. Oh, poor us. Poor us. <laughs> Milky? What's up? Poor us. Oh, yeah. Poor uh, us. Oh, yes. Poor oh, us. Poor oh, miserable so little hungry. creature. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. We'll be more than happy to take you in and give you some food. Come along with us. <laughs> A 
So go on and tell us more about the monsters you spoke of. The Spots monster and the Stripes monster. Well, well, they're, uh, they're, uh, I mean, they're, uh, uh, blah. Wow, big eggs. <laughs> um, I'm, do, do those eggs taste good? Do they taste good? Are you being serious? Those eggs are platypus eggs. Those eggs hold our future children. Uh, no, 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 no. You misunderstood him, your platypusness. What he meant was that the Spots monster and the Stripes monster really love delicious eggs for lunch. Yeah, lunch. And dinner as well. And breakfast also. What? But they wouldn't dare. Yes, beware the Spots and Stripes. It would be best if you attack them first. These monsters are going to regret ever stepping foot near our great village. Right, my platypus friends? Yeah, we won't let anyone take away our children. Well, we gotta go. Thanks for your hospitality, Toodles. Toodles! Come on, brother. Come on, come on, little brother. to go on a mission for reconnaissance. Great idea, Martik. In the meantime, we'll build a shelter for tonight. Tig, let's go. Where are you going? With you, to do reconnaissance. <laughs> Martik, you're too young for reconnaissance. Why don't you go and help the girls? La, 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 la. We're discovering a world of miracles. And we cannot wait. That's not fair! I want to go on a reconnaissance mission, too! I mean, after all, it was my idea! Cuba, we'll show them. You and me are not little babies. Come on! I wonder, do you think there are any monsters out here? Whew. Now that I've stretched my legs, I'm ready. Huh, huh. I'm ready to fight them! Huh. Hey, is anybody here? Hello? Where is everyone? How are you? I flew here. Hi. Come on, let us out. Spots monster and stripes monster. They fit the description. They're really small for monsters, though. Hey, who are you calling a monster? <laughs> Us? I think they're still children. Hey, let, let us, us go, go already. already. Hey. It's disappeared. One of the eggs has disappeared. Did you steal one of our eggs? We didn't steal anyone's eggs. They must have hid it. Where is it? Confess. You're not getting out of that cage until you tell us where the egg is, you monsters. We didn't steal anybody's eggs. Kuba, we have to find that egg somehow. But where do we find a missing oot, egg? Oot, oot, mice. <laughs> mice. Whoa, I know him. That silly <laughs> villain from mice. our forest. <laughs> but what's he doing here? Let's follow him. What a brilliant idea! Yes, it was! Yes, it was! <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> <laughs> now, Spots and Stripes will leave us alone. <laughs> it seems like local mice don't want me to find their hiding places. Well, if you say so, then let's keep flying! A treasure awaits us. Of course! It all makes sense now. You keep them here. I'll bring back the ones with the beaks. Huh? Wait, wait, who's over there? <laughs> it's Kuba. Get him. He's all alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're overloaded! What are you 
doing? Get out of here, Goomba! Yeah, oh. go away! Oh. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Look, there's your way! Aha! Get those imposters! So much, brave Martik and courageous Kuba. You saved our children. Please forgive our rudeness. Your enemies managed to deceive us. Martins can be like that. But how did they get here? Can you please tell us exactly where here is? Everything is so strange and so different. And you are all so interesting. Yeah, well back where we come from, only the birds have beaks like that. We're surprised to see you as well, but there's no need to be alarmed. There is an ancient legend that long, long ago, the land was once one, and it was surrounded on all sides by vast oceans. The ancient earth had all kinds of different animals and birds. Some were like you, and some were like us. Yet they all lived together, and nothing ever came between them. But then, disaster struck, and the Earth split apart. Parts of the Earth floated away on the world's ocean. You floated to the north, and then became Eurasia. Well, we platypuses stayed on this piece of land, which is called Australia. So that means this is Australia? What are the Martins doing in Australia? Villain, you keep flying. The treasure's nearby. Well, of course. Sure will. And it will show you some of its snow magic. And we'll have the most amazing holiday! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right! Blizzard has better things to do than entertain us. Hey! What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Let us just see who will be laughing tomorrow when we win the Christmas Cup. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right, winners. <laughs> As if they could win. We will roll you guys into the ice. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Children, you should be ashamed. Don't fight. All right, Martins, let's go home. We need a nice sleep before tomorrow's victory. Tig, Spike is right. We also need to rest. What about Blizzard? Come on, you guys. We'll be okay. Christmas winners. I now declare the Christmas tournament open. <laughs> <laughs> Let the cup go to the most worthy. Show them how it's done. 
the beavers don't stand a chance. We're playing to five points. <laughs> Done, guys. <laughs> and the team that makes the final is Leo and Tiggs. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad at all, Spotty. But you won't get so lucky when playing us. <laughs> First, you gotta win the game against the Lemmings. Right. See you in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Take this! Ugh. Miss me? Ugh. Miss me again! Ooh. Listen, why don't we go make our own snowman? That's right. That's right. When that blizzard will notice right away. Yeah, and then he'll show us snow magic. <laughs> <laughs> rather well. Yeah, if you're a runner-up. What's going on? Calm down. Run and see what's going on there. We still got time. What did you do that for, kid? Well, we wanted to make a snowman for Blizzard so that we could see snow magic. If the snowball falls down, we won't see Blizzard or have a holiday. Yeah, or have holiday magic either. <laughs> We could go up and carefully dismantle it. Leo! The Martins beat the Lemmings. Come on, if we don't show up, they'll count it as our defeat. But what about Blizzard? And what about the snow magic? Is holiday canceled? <sighs> All right, Leo. Let's, you know, save the holiday. 
Hooray! 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 Woo! It's amazingly huge. Tig, I have a plan. Was the strike of a true champion. Well done, Leo. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, children. You've saved the holiday. You know, I never thought I would say it, but I gotta say, you've played really awesome. Great job. Congratulations to you, Leo and Tig. <laughs> Why is he being so nice? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's have our celebration. The Mysterious Guest. I'm telling you, there's no way you can do it. You're a leopard. And leopards don't fly. But that's only because leopards don't have any wings. Or at least, not before today. Leo, what exactly do you need those wings for? What do you mean, what for? Come on, let's fly with the eagles. We'll be able to see the whole taiga. Aw, oh, Tig, come along with me. No, 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 no. I already flew with the eagles once before. That was plenty. If you say so, I'm going to fly. <laughs> Told you so. Leopards don't fly. Ugh. Maybe my wings are a little too small. I need some bigger leaves. Leo, stop picking leaves, would you? Let's just go and play. Tig, you go. I'll go later. All right, come and play after you're done flying, <laughs> my feathered friend. Wow. Look at that. Tig! Tig! Wait up! Oh, Leo! Did you fly already? Tig! Guess what I saw! Just now, in the sky! 
It was huge, with big wings. Was it an owl? No, it wasn't an owl. No way. It was this big thing that was flying and made of wood, and it landed just over there. <laughs> You're kidding me. You saw a wooden bird? You're too much, Leo. You spend too much time daydreaming about flying. You don't believe me? Okay, fine. I'll go and find it all by myself. Wow! There it is! The wooden bird! Yeah! This is definitely much better than leaves. Interesting. I wonder who made it. Whoa! Oh, and what's this? Footprints? They're so weird! Whose are they? What's this? What's this I smell now? It smells like a leopard cub. Hmm, and something else. Ah, something else new. Something that smells truly delicious. Tig, hurry up already. Come on, it's my turn now. Uh-huh, hold on, just a little more. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Tig, <sighs> you've been on the swing forever. We want to turn. There you are. I have something to tell you all. You'll never guess what I saw. A big bird made out of wood. It was gigantically huge. It was flying in the hold sky. Hold on, hold on. A giant flying bird made of wood. Wait. Leo saw that as well. But I didn't believe him. Really? Where's Leo anyway? He went to the swamp to look for that big flying thing. He said that it went over there. In the swamp? Maba just told me that he was in the swamp and he saw the wolf. The wolf? Leo's there all by himself. Hurry, let's run. We have to warn Leo. Leo, Leo, wait. <laughs> Hey! <gasps> Hi there! <gasps> huh, that was awesome! What a big jump! Who are you? Uh, what do you want from me? Well, nothing. I'm Leo. I just saw your thing with wings flying in the sky. Why were you crying? I wasn't crying, okay? <laughs> we, monkeys of the Guardian Tribe, never ever cry. Hmm, who do we have here? Hmm. Oh, a little, little animal. Something that smells very appetizing. If it isn't my old friend, that's meeting you here. Ah. Hurry, run! Ah. You're not getting away this time. Oh. Ah. This way, jump up here! What's wrong? Can't you climb up? <laughs> Maybe not, but I can chew! <laughs> Leo! Leo! Where Leo! Are Leo! 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 Where are you? Leo! Leo, where are you? <gasps> Those are my friends! Leo! They'll be here real soon! <sighs> really? Is that so? You mean that chubby boar, the tasty weasel, the lynx, and the tiger cub? <gasps> ah. ah, that's excellent news. Oh no! Tig! Mila! Uh, do you think your friends can scare him off? We'll have to warn them! Lara! Kuba! Stay far away <laughs> from there! <laughs> you louder leopard cub! Then they'll get here even faster! <laughs> what do we do? I'll go and warn them. By the way, my name is Lily. Oh, uh, no matter. She probably won't taste good anyway. But I won't let this leopard cub get away from me. Uh. Stop it! Whoa! This is it! It's the big wooden bird! That's the big thingamajig. But where's 
Leo! Well, maybe whoever flew this thing was the one who captured him. <laughs> okay, come clean. Where did you take Leo? Um, um, give up! You're going to break a tooth! They say that eating a leopard is very bad luck. Whoever eats one loses all his fur. Huh? It's true. It's better to be hungry than bald. Uh. Ah! 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 Hold on, ah! Leo. Huh? We're coming. Uh. Ah! Uh, look, Tim! We're flying. Leo, hop on. Sorry, I should have believed you when you told me. It's okay. What matters is that we're flying! <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So tell us, Lily, how did you end up in our forest? Uh, uh, I sort of made a mistake. Since ancient times, our tribe of monkeys have guarded the treasure of the jungle. But one day, someone started hunting the treasure, and they almost stole it. So my father, the Monkey King, decided to hide the treasure of the jungle in a secret place, on an island along a raging river. The only way you could get there is by flying over. And so, my father built a big flying ship. And I... I really wanted to try it out. So one night, when everyone was asleep, I climbed in and took off. I just wanted to try it out. But then, there was a huge hurricane. The wind swept me up and carried me along for days. It only just died down today. But I had to find a place where I could land the flying ship because I couldn't turn it around by myself. And now all because of me, my home is in danger. <laughs> and so is the treasure. It's all my fault. <laughs> oh, don't be sad, dear little monkey. I think that I know a way to get you to your home. Really? Which way do I need to go? I've heard it said that the tribe of the little monkeys reside far, oh, so far to the south. You would have to fly for several days, so the morning sun is always shining down on you. As long as you travel with true friends, you will be safe, no matter where your journey takes you. But where am I supposed to find true friends? <sighs> Who's going to want to fly with me? We'll fly with you. Won't we, guys? Yeah, we'll go. let's go. Listen, Lily, what kind of treasure is this treasure? It's a secret. Only the tribal elders know what it is. The only thing I know is that it supposedly works miracles. It could work miracles for me. That treasure's gonna be mine. We gotta get over there. Do you hear me? We gotta go. Before the spots and stripes get it, we gotta get over there. Spike, but tell me, how are we gonna do that? How do you think? By flying! <laughs> the Guiding Arrow. <laughs> okay, the first one to finish tying a knot can be the captain. It's going to be me, no doubt about it. I'm starting to think that there's something wrong with my rope. <laughs> Tig, you're not going to be the captain. Oh. Look, guys, it's easy. Just watch me. Put this end here, like that, and then look. Ta-da! <laughs> you're all done. Wow, that's awesome. Whoa, look at that. How did you learn to tie a knot? My dad told me, be strong and overcome an obstacle. <laughs> But be wise, you'll last the whole journey. <laughs> Don't even start. Hey, you guys, we made sure to only pack our essentials. Uh... Pass the ends to me. Hee ho! Okay, here we go. Uh. 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 
It won't take off. <sighs> yeah. We've got too much stuff on board. Uh, only bring the things uh, that you absolutely need. You mean like this? I'm not going anywhere without soap root. Or what do you think? That I'm going to allow myself to turn into a piglet? <laughs> oh, sorry, Kuba. I didn't mean it like that. It was just a figure of speech, I swear. <sighs> Better not touch Kuba right now. He's feeling down. Remember the pig, Lada? She moved to another forest with her brothers and sisters. Hey, guys! <laughs> what do we need that for, huh? We can give it to the monkeys when we arrive. A gift from the taiga spirit to their spirit. We can't be their guest and show up empty-handed. They're really going to love it. We'll take it with us. But... No buts allowed. There's only one rule on this ship. Everyone has to listen to the captain. And as it happens, the captain of the ship is me. <laughs> <laughs> It's Kino! 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 Hi! <laughs> Whoa! Look at that technique! Did you see how I taught you? Of course! You're amazing! <laughs> I can see that you're flying now, too! Yeah! We're all flying! We're traveling far away! That's great! The key is not to get lost! You do know how to fly back to your home, don't you? Uh, well, not really. How do you do it? I always know where I am. I don't look. I am an eagle. We birds all have a special sense of direction. Do you have something like that, too? Nope. We don't have anything like that. Stop! Stop the oars! We're not going anywhere until we know exactly how we're getting back again, or we'll end up lost like Lily. Hmm, I know who can help you. Magnetic rivers. They're invisible, and yet they flow all around the planet, flowing from the north to the south. We bird folk are able to feel their currents. We don't have that sense of direction, so is there any way that we can see these flowing, invisible rivers? Hmm. Yes, there is a little trick. Our Earth is just like a great big ball. It is so enormous that we are all pulled toward it. That's called gravity. That's why none of us fall off of it. However, in the taiga, there is a secret spot that's hidden away where there's absolutely no gravity to be found. That's because of the magical black stone. But reaching the stone won't be easy. No, but if someone manages to break off even the smallest little piece, they'll see that the magical black stone piece will always be pointing from north to south. No matter how you turn it or where you face it, if you do that, it will surely become the guiding arrow. Well, we've got to find that guiding arrow. Then we definitely won't get lost on our way home. Then let's go find that stone. Hey, guys, <gasps> can I go along with you? No, huh? it's much too dangerous. And anyway, the captain must never abandon the ship. But... Uh... No buts allowed. Uh... You see? And you wanted to be the captain. Sometimes it's not so much fun. You're right. We would have to stay on the ship. We would have missed out on all the adventuring. We've searched half the taiga, but we still haven't found anything yet. How are we supposed to find the secret spot? Oh, who's there? Oh, Phil! You really startled me, huh? I've been alive for a hundred years, and this is the first time I've ever startled anyone. A hundred years? Wow. Then maybe you know where we can find the... Hey! Hey, hey! 
Huh? Who's there? It's me again. Tig, can you help us out? We're trying to find the traveling stone. And you won't be able to find it. It will only appear when the stones become light. Oh, and when they... Oh. Tig, you hear that? She just said that when the stones become light and when they... But she didn't say when they what. Who's there? Please excuse me. When they what? When who does what? When will the traveling stone show itself? It will only show itself once somebody melts his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Oh. Excuse me, Auntie Turtle. We won't bother you anymore, I promise. Just tell us where to go to find these weightless rocks. We really need your help. The midday shadow of a stone birch tree. Oh, knows where. The midday shadow of a stone? Wait, what? Of a birch stone tree. I know exactly where it grows. And it's noon already. We need to hurry. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. Tig, look, it's the birch stone tree. Follow me. Yeah. <sighs> but where are the weightless rocks? Maybe there isn't any such thing as weightless rocks. Maybe it's all a fairy tale. I, I mean, how can stones even fly? Actually, they can. Look at this. Ha <laughs> ha! Hooray! We found we finally found the magic black stone! <laughs> now we just have to break off a piece. And I know how! Huh. <laughs> ha! See that? I'm riding a floating stone! Wow! But wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> awesome! <laughs> hey! Um. It looks like we got ahead of ourselves. The magic black stone is pushing all the other rocks away from each other. We'll never be able to reach them. But the turtle told us, somebody must melt his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Remember when you threw a stone and it fell and... The magnetic arrow? We, we did! did. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. So now, you will always be able to find your way back home without ever getting lost. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much Grandpa, Grandpa Eagle. Eagle. Of course. <laughs> it's time for every one of you to all fly the nest, my little ones. Release the moon rings. Lower the rudder. Raise the wings. We'll steam ahead. Fly away, my nestlings! Let's do it! Spread your wings, but never forget that we love you and we'll be waiting for you right here. I'm really gonna miss them, Grandpa. I'll hold on to the guiding arrow, okay, Leo? Why do you get it? Because I found it! And you're only the first mate. Why not me? I was there too. I helped to solve the riddle. And I found a turtle. And she told us everything. Thanks to me, we found it. Hey, her. what about me? That's it. Good job. Keep going. Go. Keep going. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Who do it? <laughs> What kind of a bird are you? <laughs> Spike, what can I do? This thing still won't take flight. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> These wings don't work. We need new ones. New ones? 
<laughs> what kind of bird? What kind of bird? I think <laughs> we found ourselves some new wings. <laughs> <laughs> Lost. The rudder ready? It's all set. Where's the lookout? Right here. Perfect. Deck hand, are the supplies ready? Oh no, guys. We haven't got any supplies left. Kuba ate it. Right. That's okay. We'll get some more. Ah! <laughs> I could really go for a delicious little rabbit. <laughs> Or maybe a little mouse. <laughs> Remember, we have some supplies back there. But we can't go alone, or the vulture will catch us. <laughs> Tig! Lily doesn't know anything about our forest. You know she could get into real trouble. Hey, nothing's gonna happen to her. We'll all be together. When it comes to the taiga, I'm an expert. I know every blade of grass. I know every bush. Uh, I fell on purpose, you know, to show you one has to be careful. Also, watch out for the pine tree roots. They might trip you up. <laughs> you know, around here, I'm basically a king. The others call me Tiger, King of the Taiga. Huh? But be careful under the cedar trees. Hey. <laughs> I haven't been to this part before. Take, I'm not used to so it. Funny. I usually take a different route. I could go for... A tadpole, or maybe, maybe a little mouse. Huh? Now that looks like lunch. Hey, don't you worry. You don't have to be afraid when you're with me, okay? Lily? Hey, do don't eat that. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lily? Me. Lily? Oh! No chance! Hello, hi there. I'm Rick Rog. Oh my, hi. You're really fluffy. Can I pet uh, you? Hey, keep your hooves off of me. <laughs> All right then. You want some grass? Why aren't you eating? It's juicy. All right then, not hungry. What are you doing here anyway? Do you need some help? I've never seen cats around here before. I'm not a cat. I mean, does Vulture live up here? He's over there. Over where? You are sure that you don't want any grass? Try it. It's delicious. Uh, thanks. How about I take some with me for the road? I'm in a hurry. Lily is in big danger. <laughs> it's time for a delicious feast! It's my lucky day! I'm not lunch! I'm Lily! Hey! You mean you're still complaining? Ah! Well then, I guess that today's lunch menu includes something quite exotic. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call my friend. Sit here and be quiet. I said be quiet! Goodness, I didn't know goats could climb so easily. Only mountain goats. There's a whole legend about it. I'll tell you the tale, my striped fluffy friend. It goes like this. It was a long time ago. We mountain goats used to live in the forest. We had a fearless leader with great big horns. Almost like mine. One day, we gathered in the meadow to celebrate the birthday of our fearless leader. We were busy celebrating when all of a sudden a forest fire began. 
The leader's advisor warned him about the fire, but he didn't want to end the celebration. He had hoped that the fire would burn on the other side, but no one tells a fire where a fire should burn. The flames surrounded the goats on all sides, but what could the goats do? There was only one way out, up the mountain in the middle of the forest. However, the goats couldn't climb it. The leader turned toward the mountain. He started to complain about the dry trees. After all, they're to blame for what happened. If they weren't so dry, then they wouldn't have caught on fire. So he asked for help, but the mountain didn't respond. So the leader thought, who else is to blame? Aha, the leader said, it's the wind who's to blame for the fire. It blew the flames toward us, but the mountain didn't respond. The fire was getting closer and closer. They could feel it getting hotter. Then the leader finally said, I know, okay, I'm the one to blame for everything, you know? I really wanted to hear the goats celebrating me and so I didn't tell them about the fire. Help me to help my herd, please, he said. And if you want, I'll even stay right here. And then the mountain helped the goats climb up. It gave us the ability to climb any mountain and we were all led to safety. We haven't left the mountain ever since. <laughs> hey, you want some grass? Do you need some help? Hold on tight, kitty cat! I'm not a cat! Whoa! Here, this is the final stop. You're on your own now. Huh? some grass. Why would we want grass? Uh, we are having ourselves uh, an exotic lunch. So get lost. Are you sure you don't want any grass? No, we don't. Well, then you can taste this, birds. I really wanted to have an exotic lunch. <laughs> Let's get out of here! You haven't heard the last of us! <sighs> Thank you, Rickrog. <laughs> no worries, my striped fluffy friend. Tig, I'm sorry that I... that we... Lily, I wasn't watching. I let you down. I'm sorry, too. Will you forgive me? <laughs> Anybody want some grass? Try it. It's delicious. Where were you guys? And why didn't you get any supplies? Uh, um... It was all my fault. Well, to be honest, I... Uh... Anyone want some grass? What are we, goats? Chewing on grass? <laughs> Don't worry. We got a lot of supplies. Let's go. <laughs> So tell me, are there really a lot of mice, Spike? A lot of mice? It's gonna be mountains of mice! Yeah! For real! Mountains! Hoot, hoot. Uh, uh, are there are there lots of fish? It'll be overflowing with fish! Hoot, hoot, hoot! Hoot, hoot, hoot! Here we go! This box of strength won't get away with it this time. The monkeys are finally gonna be ours. <laughs> 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 